morning, how are you? My name is Wade from North South Homes and I'm just here today to talk to you a little bit about one of our high performance homes in the background. And one thing in particular that we're here to talk about uh, this morning is uh, edge slab insulation. It's a component of the build that we feel it's uh, extremely important and uh, with helping with the, with the overall performance of your home. And we got a couple techniques here that we're gonna show you how we go about it. So the first thing I want to go through here uh, this morning is um, talking about the vapor barrier and how important that is. And um, obviously everybody's um, installing vapor barrier underneath our slabs. And uh, it's the purpose for that is to stop any uh, um, water moisture coming up from underneath the slab and up through the slab. Okay. And I've noticed that um, the execution is kind of uh, improperly done in a lot of cases. And uh, I have an example right here and I'll explain to you what I mean by that. So here, here we have a slab and uh, it's been poured. There's an edge beam here that's uh, 400 mil deep, 350 mil wide, and uh, there's our vapor barrier. And what I mean by that is the problem I have here is that you have the ground, which is almost graded, and then you have your slab and your vapor barrier, and that's pretty much the common practice. And what happens is that um, water is just going to come down here, drip in there, go in between the slab, and the vapor barrier and crawl right underneath your house and start getting under your edge beam and be there for the life of this home okay and um, i just feel that that's kind of a, a practice that we got to kind of uh, uh, execute a little bit more um, effectively to stop the water from going down into there and we have a couple techniques that we can show you how to do that okay so here we are at the house and uh, this is the um, after ply bracing time, but just just enough time uh, for us to where we want to get our vapor barrier all settled in nice and properly and also where we're going to be doing our um, edge slab insulation. And to start with, the technique here is the, um, it's the real early stages of when you're framing and uh, um, forming up your boxing for the concrete and also working with your concreter uh, on how to get this done properly. Okay, so the first thing we've done is we've done a, a larger um, uh, edge slab, so ours is 450 mil of boxing and we brought our, our plastic all the way up as far as we can. You can see there's only like 50 mil from the surface. So we actually asked our concreters to cut it quite close to the top and you can, and it's stuck to there and it's nice and good. And now right now there's no water going through there, but it, it, it still could be a problem if you didn't put anything over top of that. And that's sort of a common practice, but we're going to show you what we do in order for that to stop. Okay. And then in, in conjunction, I'm also going to talk about, um, the foam that we put on there and the flashing technique. Here we are with the foam, the XPS foam 30 mil thick. This is what we're choosing to use for our edge slab insulation today. Um, you could go with thicker, you could go with thinner. I think this is a medium cost effective way to get um, your edge slab insulated. And so this is how we're going to go about it is we basically just put it right up underneath our termite protection like that. And the termite protection is working for two reasons, it's, it's doing the termite uh, protection. It's also helping out with a little bit of flashing because this goes right in underneath the, um, underneath the plate. And you can see what we're gonna do is just take this, put it up there and you can see a couple of these uh, screws that we've already put on the other one is we're just gonna screw it in through the, um, through the insulation and right into the, into the concrete and that's gonna hold tight. After the fact, we're gonna put some uh, cement sheet over top of that so it looks a lot nicer right? And then we're going to finish it with a, with a flashing that's going to go down the wall here, 150 mil up, down the wall here, over top of the termite protection, and then over top of the cement sheet down like that. The key to this whole component is that you want to have it really snug and tight against the concrete. A lot of people might, might forget about that execution side of it. But if you look at this point, the most important thing is water drop is where it's going. It's coming down the wall where all your cladding is going to go. It's going to hit your flashing over top of your flashing and your termite protection and over top of your, um, of your, uh, of your cement sheet. And then also it can, it's going to hit your grade and your grade is going to roll off and go that way. No water is going to go in, in behind your house. And even if it did, your vapor barrier is behind the insulation. So it can't go in behind it. So now the execution of the vapor barrier is done, done correctly. All right, so this is a little bit of the insulation. It's, um, it's not too hard. We're just picking a, a spot here just to... Like that, done. And we'll go along, all the way along by putting these in and this will just hold it in. And whenever you can, like I got like 
I got a little bit of a height here difference where I'm just going to put it there, but this will get buried by the, uh, by the backfill anyways. And you can see we've done it flush so that the cement sheet would go right over top of that and not make any, any difference. go done and this is an important part we'll uh, we'll do another one right here and we'll put tape over this just so, so so that will seal up any of the air gaps all right so here we are with the final step of um well before backfilling of uh ed slab insulations as you can see we have our uh um, our XPS foam on here okay uh, our vapor barrier is underneath that all wrapped up underneath it our termite protection up over top again Okay, and then here we'll just do it some cement sheet. We'll just hold it up. We just go a little bit back there. Again, flush with the top of that. And some screws. There we go, that's the final product, just like that.